very warm welcome to today's video i hope you are doing very well well i am also kicking very strong today i want to share with you the simple shito recipe i made using one man thousand i begin by peeling and washing some generous amounts of onions gingers and garlics then i cut the onions into quarters to enhance easy blending now you can double or triple the recipe if you want to make it in large quantity once i'm done with the cutting i'll transfer the chopped onions into a food processor i won't be adding in any liquid to blend but if needed you can add little water or oil to help with the blending process so i pulse the onions for about 30 to 40 seconds i'll then add the rest of the onions to the food processor and continue to pulse for about 30 to 40 seconds and now it's time to add the garlics and gingers so first goes in the garlics followed by the gingers then i continue to pulse it for additional 30 to 40 seconds so this is the consistency and the texture i am going in for but if you want to smooth then feel free to blend it further now let's begin with the shitter recipe in this large pan i've heated some oil i will add in the blended onions gingers and then garlic i will give it a very good stir so after stirring the blended ingredients in the oil i'm going to leave this to cook for about 10 minutes on a medium heat all right yummies that is 10 minutes of cooking the blended ingredients that is the ginger onions and then the garlic i will proceed to add in one tablespoon of tomato paste then stir very well to combine all the ingredients once i'm done with the stirring process i will allow the shito to simmer on a low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes but i will be stirring the shito occasionally to avoid burning it so when it comes to the addition of tomato paste it is totally optional so if you do not want to add it in please feel free to omit it all right yummies it's been 30 minutes now i will add in the powdered pepper then go ahead to give it a gentle stir and when it comes to making of shito the hotness and spiciness of the shito depends on how you like it so feel free to add in more or less of the powdered pepper in this mortar i have some gloves black pepper corns and two pieces of greens of salem feel free to use any spices of your choice and also you can use a coffee blender to blend this now i will add in the blended spices and then go in with about one tablespoon of white pepper powder and now i will come in with this aromatic jello fry spice mix that i made at home it tastes and smells divine i add in just one tablespoon of it give it a very good mix and leave it on fire to simmer whilst i take care of other things in this recipe i'll be making use of shrimp powder but feel free to use both shrimp and fish powder that is totally okay now i will add in the powdered dried shrimp fish and then stir well to combine all the ingredients very nicely 
And once I'm done with the stirring, I'm going to allow the shito to simmer on a very low heat for about 15 to 30 minutes. Stirring occasionally to prevent the shito from burning. This will help the flavors to develop well and also make your shito taste very nicely. I then add in the one man thousand and give it a very good stir. Now, if you've not watched my previous video on how I used one man thousand to make a delicious stir fry, then kindly watch it after you're done watching this video. Almost all the ingredients are in now. I will add in the seasoning powder. I'm using, I think, one and a half seasoning cubes which I pounded in the mortar. Then give it a very good stir. Now I'm going to leave the shito on fire for additional five minutes for the seasoning to be well incorporated in. So at this point, I'll add in some salt to taste and then go in with more of the oil. You know shito requires a lot of oil. Then I will give it a very good stir. Once you get to this stage, you taste and adjust the seasoning and the spice to your preference. You can add in more salt, pepper or spices if desired. So once again, I will leave it on fire for about 5 minutes on a low heat. And now the color of the shito has darkened to my perfection and to my preference. I remove it from the fire and let it cool down completely. And once it is cooled down, I transfer the cooled shito to a clean sterilized jar or containers. Now you can store the shito for several months and it tastes absolutely delicious as always thank you so very much for watching this video and i hope to see you around next time for another great recipe until then always remember to do everything in love and whenever you think food think yummy cash juice